Good morning, 8th grade math students, and welcome to virtual math class. Today, we're going to be talking about solving equations with the distributive property part two. So we're going to go a step further than what we did um, earlier this week. And our objective for today is that students will be able to solve multi-step equations using the distributive property. So like I said, it'll be a step further, so there'll be a couple extra steps mixed in there. And jumping right on in, we have the equation negative 6 times negative s plus 7 equals negative 2s plus 5 plus 9. Woo, that's a lot of steps. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to um, draw my line so I can keep everything separate. So if I'm starting on my left-hand side, the only thing that I really have to do is I have to distribute. So I take my negative 6 and I multiply in. So negative 6 times negative s, well, it's a negative times a negative, so it's going to be a positive 6s. And then we have negative 6 times positive 7 which will be a negative 42 or a minus 42. And then on the right side, there are no other variables, so I cannot combine it with anything else. So I'm just going to bring that negative 2s down. But I can do negative 5 plus, no, positive 5 plus 9. And 5 plus 9 is 14. So I'm going to do a plus 14. Now, I have simplified it as far as I can if by working on the left side and on the right side. So now I need to combine my variables together and my non-variables together. So on this side, I have minus 2s. So the opposite would be to add 2s because I need to cancel them out. So that cancels out on this side. So 6s plus 2s equals 8s. And now I bring down my negative 42. And then on this side, all I have left with is a positive 14. Now I need to get my 42 and my 14 together. Since 14 is over here by itself, I'm going to move the 42. And I am subtracting, so the opposite is going to be to add 42 to both sides. So when I add 42 to both sides, that cancels out. So I'm just left with 8s equals 14 plus 42 equals 56. And my last step is going to be to divide both sides by what number? By 8. When I divide by 8, that equals 1, and I get that S equals 7. So my answer is S equals 7. So like I said, this is multi-step, so we do have a couple more steps than what we were used to doing um, whenever we did this earlier. And our next problem, I have 8Z plus 2 equals negative 4 times negative 3z minus 5 minus 6z. So again, I'm going to start by working as far as I can on my left side and on my right side. On my left side, I cannot do anything else. I cannot combine 8z plus 2, so I'm just going to bring that down. On the right side, I can do I can distribute my negative 4. So negative 4 times negative 3z. Well, it's a negative times a negative, and 4 times 3 is 12. And it's, I, I am multiplying by a variable, so it's going to be 12z. And then I have negative 4 times negative 5. So that's going to be a positive 20. And then I bring down my negative 6z. Again, I cannot do anything on my left side, so I'm just going to bring that down again. Now, I have 12z minus 6z. So I have 12z here, and then I have a minus 6z. 12 minus 6 is 6z. So 12z minus 6z is 6z. So then I have plus 20. Now I've gone as far as I can go working on my left side and on my right side separately. So now I need to combine my like terms and then, um, and then solve it. So I'm going to move my 6z over to my 8z. And that 6 is positive, so I have to subtract. It cancels out on this side, and 8 minus 6 is 2. So now I have 2z plus 2 equals 20. Once I have that, I need to move my 2 and my 20 together. Since 20 is by itself, I'm going to move the 2. So I subtract 2 since I'm adding 2 on the other side. I have to do my opposite. So now I have 2z equals 20 minus 2 is 18. And my final step is going to be to do what? I divide both sides by 2. When I divide by 2, that 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with z equals 18 divided by 2 is 9. So z equals 9 is my final answer. And our last example that we are going to work out today, I have that negative 7 is being multiplied by negative 3s plus 5 
minus 9 and that is equal to a negative s. So again, on this one, I'm going to work as far as I can on my left side. And on my right side, I just have negative s. So I'm just going to ignore that basically to the last step. So I distribute my negative 7 through. So I have negative 7 times a negative 3s. Well, it's a negative times a negative, so that's going to be a positive, and 7 times 3 is 21. So I have 21s. Now I have negative 7 times a positive 5. Negative 7 times positive 5 is going to be negative 35, and then I bring down my minus 9, and that is equal to negative s. Now I still can simplify more on my left side. So I do not have any other variables, so I'm going to bring down my 21s. However, I can do negative 35 minus 9. When I do negative 35 minus 9, what am I going to get? I get 44. So, and is that going to be a positive 44 or negative 44? It's going to be a negative 44, and that is equal to negative s. Now I need to get my variables together. So I need, since this s, negative s is by itself, I'm going to move the 21s. So I'm going to subtract 21s on both sides. Why do I subtract? I subtract because it's positive. So now I'm left with a negative 44 equals negative s minus 21 is going to be a negative 22s. I then divide both sides by a negative 22. Negative 44 divided by negative 22 is going to be a positive 2. And so I get that 2 equals s or that s equals 2. I hope this helps. I know that this video was a little long because um, how long it takes to solve these. But if you have any questions or concerns, please, please, please let me know.